Decision 2008 now, equal rights for all versus the sanctity of marriage. Those were the key arguments tonight from those on both sides of the aisle of Proposition 8. 17's Tim Callahan attended a heated debate at Cal State Bakersfield and joins us from the newsroom tonight with more. Tim? Well, Tammy, it's undoubtedly one of the most talked about and controversial issues in Kern County in California. Supporters of gay marriage and opponents squared off tonight in a heated debate on the Cal State Bakersfield campus. Passionate arguments from both sides of Proposition 8, the initiative aimed at halting same-sex marriage in California. With less than 30 days to go until elections, the gloves were off. There are more ramifications to not passing Prop 8 than just the mere definition of marriage. Because if this court decision is allowed to stand, it will have ramifications way beyond just marriage. People still want to get married. Every couple wants to hope that their marriage will have the social and legal recognitions that come with being with someone for life. People on both sides of the aisle filled the room at Cal State Bakersfield Student Union Building. Those opposed to Proposition 8 who want same-sex marriage to stay legal showed up in force. I actually think tonight is history in the making. We're seeing a lot of stuff these last couple of months, people for and against. And I mean, both sides have really good points, but it all comes down to equality. It's like one of the big issues that's going on, and I mean, it's going to be like in the election when it, when it comes on. So uh, just trying to, you know, get, get well informed. Those who support Proposition 8 say if it fails, it would destroy the ideals of American families and negatively affect children in the future. For me, I have children in school. What they want to, how they want to redefine marriage in um, the public schools is going to be crammed down my children's throats. Now, to be decided, the true outcome will be decided at the polls. With the election 26 days away, both sides hope voters will do their homework and make an educated vote come November 4th. Tammy. Gay marriage, the topic of debate during a heated discussion tonight at Cal State Bakersfield. Proposition 8 seeks to eliminate the rights of same-sex marriage in California. 29 Eyewitness News reporter Amity Idrisi was at the debate and spoke with people about both sides of the issue. Amity. Kurt, the student union at CSUB was standing room only. The debate was heated and the mood at times was tense. But both sides were heard and that was the point of tonight's discussion. Why do you want to get married? What are you trying to prove? Equality is marriage. And I, and I, and I know that, uh, the, for instance, the panelists answered that they wouldn't want domestic partnership. These two people of differing opinions were among hundreds who came together to hear a panel of speakers, both for and against Proposition 8, give their definition of marriage. They already have all the rights they need. What more do they want? And like Marilee says, you give them a cookie, when's enough going to be enough? But not everyone believes it is enough. Howie Costa says a domestic partnership does not give gay couples the same rights as marriage. If something happens to my partner and he dies, I can't claim his social security. So the discrimination still uh, it exists uh, and domestic partnership is not marriage. Another issue kicked around by the panel was religion and how it relates to gay marriage. I think I'd be deny in denial if I didn't say religion didn't play a part. But I think it's also, it's just, uh, it's a matter of uh, reason and logic and looking at things from, a scientific, from basically a scientific standpoint. One woman we spoke with responded to this man's belief, saying it goes beyond science or religion, saying faith should make people more tolerant. I always have Jesus in front of me as the example of who I'm supposed to follow, follow or what I'm supposed to be like. And he was loving and compassionate and accepting of other people. Now, you'll have your chance to weigh in on the issue coming November 4th during the general election. Your voter information guide also outlines both sides of Prop 8, as well as provides a fiscal impact and background on the issue. You can also find all you need to know about the election online at the Secretary of State's website. Kurt. Proposition 8 would say that marriage in California is limited to between a man and a woman. ABC 23's Felix Rodriguez Lima is live in our newsroom now with more on the debate. Felix? Well, Chris, two supporters and two opponents of the proposition went back and forth for much of the night as to the benefits and drawbacks of the ballot initiative, which would prevent gay couples from getting married. 
It was standing room only at Cal State Bakersfield's multi-purpose room tonight as local supporters and opponents of Proposition 8 debated whether or not the measure should be approved. This is about not only altering the definition of marriage, but the core purpose of marriage, which, in case you've all forgotten, is children. They spend a lot of time talking about ABCs, and we spend a lot of time talking about, you know, we believe that especially domestic partnership it, it creates second-class citizenship. And in America, second-class citizenship is just not acceptable for anybody. Gay marriages were allowed in June after a controversial state Supreme Court decision that overturned an earlier proposition that defined marriage as between a man and a woman. The Supreme Court in a 4-3 decision only did one thing. They overturned Prop 22. That is one paragraph in the family code. All the rest of the family code still says man and woman. The latest poll from Survey USA, taken just this past Monday, shows that 47% are in favor of Prop 8, while 42% are against it, and 10% are undecided. Most earlier polling showed that a majority were against it. But opponents are concerned the proposition could relegate gays and lesbians to second-class status. As much as we talked about religion tonight, we base our laws on the Constitution, not the Bible. And so it's important to recognize that as courts consider these issues and as people vote, they should consider what does the Constitution say about equality under the law. And it, it's up to people, of course, to vote their conscience. It's estimated that more than 11,000 gay and lesbian couples have married in California since June, and there is belief among legal scholars saying that even if Prop 8 passes, it cannot be applied retroactively. Live in the newsroom, Felix Rodriguez Lima, ABC 23 News.